I've spoken about previously the ability to do operations online in 12.2 and before 12.2 you can use DBMS redefinition to achieve the same thing. Um, I'll link to a video either here or, or here, where, wherever the suggestions appear. But DBMS redefinition, although the name suggests otherwise, is not just for redefining tables. You can also mimic operations that would normally be very expensive to do in a conventional means. To give you an example of that, let's assume we've already changed the structure of a table and now we need to do a large update. Can DBMS redefinition help there? Here's my example data. You can see here it's a table called T and let's assume it's got a single column called full name which as it suggests is someone's full name. We can see there's a million rows in there. Perhaps full name wasn't such a good idea and we might want to be able to split this up into someone's forename and their surname. I'm going to be missing with this table so I'll take a copy of it and call it tbase as is so we can go back to the starting point as we continue the demo. To split the full name into two columns, I can use virtual columns from 11G onward. You can see I've got two expressions which take the full name and search for the first space in there and split it into the two representative columns. That works fine, I've got two new columns, first name and last name, and we can see there that the expressions are working as we intended. Perhaps we didn't want to do that, perhaps we didn't want to incur the potentially large cost of doing that expensive in-string and substring commands every time we query the data, especially if we're using it for example in predicates and the like. Maybe we want to actually fully instantiate those columns. So the way we would do it is I'll drop the existing virtual columns and now I'll create those columns as proper columns but I have to obviously now populate them. What does that mean? You can see I have to do a very large update. You can tell it's working pretty hard, it's taking a fair while to do it. That's because we had one million rows in the table. But there's something else we need to be aware of here. When we've completed this update, which is a very expensive process in its own right, what I've done now is taken all of these rows and made every single row perhaps twice as big. We've taken the full name and split it into two columns which are effectively the same amount of data again. If I do an analyze command on this table, you can see that over half the rows are now chained or migrated rows. This means that index lookups at this table might be expensive or more expensive than they used to be. What do I have to do to solve that? Well, I have to now do a full table reorganization to repopulate those rows into blocks as they're meant to be. That is almost as expensive as doing the large update. It's slow and of course probably involves taking an outage. Now when I compute statistics again, you can see I've solved the problem, but I've obviously burnt a lot of CPU cycles in doing that all that effort. Let's now go back to the start of our demo. I've dropped the table called T and re-instantiated it from our copy called Tbase. It's got a primary key on it. Maybe I can achieve the same result without having to do both a full update or the big reorganization at the end. I'll create a table called T interim, which is the target format of our table with its two new columns. And you can see I'm probably going to use DBMS redefinition here. I can now do what we call a DBMS redefinition with a column map. What that means is I'm defining the mapping from the source table to the target table. And that doesn't necessarily mean it has to be one for one. I can take a single column from the source and map it to three columns in the target. And you can see I'm using the same substring instring commands to populate the data. Now when I do that, I add a primary key. I can finish off the redefinition. Now my table is created with its full columns and I didn't have to do any updating. And if I redo an analyze command, you can see there were no chained rows. So that perhaps is another option you might want to consider. When the requirement of large updates or large row maintenance is required, maybe DBMS redefinition is going to be a better option. You have less of an outage and actually less work to do. Mm -hmm.